special event. Tonight, fighting out of the red corner, we're waiting today at 77.7 kilos. From NTT, Siam Super Gym, trained by Nugget. He was a triple champion, a triple world champion, with a fight record of 32 fights, 28 wins, 18 by way of KO. Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Cameron.
Nathan Corbett from the Boon Choo Gym and Scotty Buchanan Bannon. And he does have Nugget Kerry McNaught in his corner. Usually a job that you'd hold in, but your television, your modelling commitments and your business commitments at the moment means that for this fight, Scotty Bannon training under the auspices of the Boots Hall of Famer, Kerry Nugget McNaught. Yeah, very, very so. Well, this one's set for five threes under full tyre rules. Brought to you by TJF EBC Industrial Cranes and Scaffolding. And a big thank you to Graham Bliss and all the crew at TJF EBC Industrial Cranes and Scaffolding. I'll tell you what, it is going to be the industrial go. strength main event. You can cut the atmosphere in here at the RNA Showgrounds with a brick. The time for talk is over. The main event, Scotty Bannon, the Triple World Champion, against the brash, bold, up-and-coming Nathan Carnage Corbett. Big leg sweep there from Scotty Bannon, and the crowd already alive. To the stare down of Scotty, and his eyes so focused there. He is the brick hit house, Scotty Bannon, full of determination here tonight and wanting to make early work of Nathan Corbett. Nathan, a very dangerous opponent. He's only had 11 fights, but he's had 10 knockouts in those 11 fights, and he's fought the top opponents throughout Australia and international. Comments there from the powerhouse, Ian Jacob. This fight brought to you by Paul Demacoli of Ultimate Promotions in conjunction with Scott Bannon himself. Nugget and Scott Ward, a cracker main event from TJF, EBC, Industrial Cranes and Scaffolding. And it's all part of Muay Thai rocking the RNA. Scotty Bannon recently voted in International Kickboxer magazine as the best elbower in Australia. Nice right hand there from Nathan Corbett. Caught him on the side of the head. Scotty Bannon who's gone to war against the big names including Prince Amir, John Wayne Parr and many, many more. Last time out, of course, he KO'd his Czech opponent in the early parts of the fight. The main point to watch, of course, that lead knee of Scotty Bannon that's been the subject of a lot of surgery in recent times. We are yet to see the elbows really come into play here. Both men now yes, starting mate, to tie up. Just need... Both boys just taking their time. A lot of strategy in there. Already there's been some very hard hits going in there, very flush. Awkward right hand there from Corbett, round kick from Scotty Bannon. Outside guy kick from Bannon, the people's champion. Catches that crossing elbow on the forearms, does Bannon. High right round kick on the forearm there from Nathan Corbett. Crossing elbow there from Corbett. Uppercut elbow off the left, sweeping downstairs with a leg kick from Scotty Bannon. Oh, overhand elbow there from Corbett. Nice cut, much in defensive front kick there from Corbett. Slapping knee to the thigh there from Corbett. Solid stop from him, the boy from Boon Chu. Scotty Bannon's going to work away at him inside the grapple. Referee, third man there, Brian Murphy separates proceedings. Snappy left there, overhand right elbow. Overhand right from Bannon now. Outside thigh kick from Bannon. He's got to chop the legs more. Negates the knee. Crossing elbow from Corbett. Now they're letting it go. End of the first round of action. Ian, how do you see that one? Very close round there, mate. Um, very close round. Nathan scoring some uh, good strikes at the end of the round and uh, Scotty score, scoring most of the points in the first. Demonstrating his strength in the Muay Thai, doing the takedowns and throwdowns. And... Um, Nathan scoring some uh, points towards the end there. Scotty looking a stronger style of fighter, whereas Nathan's uh, more technical at this stage. And this might have been brought to you by TJF EBC, Industrial Cranes and Scaffolding, Graham Bliss and all the crew. And that was Vince Uray there in his 2001 Penthouse Bench. And the card goes proudly presented by your local Big Red Machine Brisbane. Who are the Hell's Angels in Brisbane? Don't take the girls, big red machine. <laughs> Showgrounds have 
Bob Gone Bananas. It is Muay Thai at its finest. Our main event, Scotty Bannon, the People's Champion. Up against Nathan Corbett, who might have taken the first round. And it's been a gutsy contest. Round kick there from Corbett. Downstairs goes Bannon. Will Bannon unload the good night Irene Elbow? That's better. He's got to chop those legs. He's got to maintain the aggression. Nice leg check there from Bannon. Goes to the outside left thigh. High left round kick from Corbett. Inside thigh kick from Corbett. Got much in front kick. Nice defense there from Corbett. Tries to spin him around the hook there. Tentative start to this round. Step up front kick there from Bannon. Catches the kicking leg. Trying to sweep up the supporting leg on Corbett. Couldn't get it. Front kick again there from Corbett. Using those long reaching limbs if he's the outside fire kick there from Bannon. Inside fire kick from Corbett. Maintaining his range. Left hook, round kick combination. Nice response there from Bannon. Corbett fires back, crossing elbow. Didn't find the mark. Good stuff this from Nathan Corbett. Bannon's got to move up a gear now. Outside fire kick to that rear fire by Corbett. Jumping knee there from Scotty Bannon to the left rib cage. How do you see it so far in this round, Ian? Oh, definitely Scotty's way, mate. He's totally dictating this round. Glancing elbow there from Bannon. Oh, he's been cut. Blood spewing from a cut on the forehead of Scott Bannon. Wow. That's a deep cut, that one there. It's a deep one. The blood is spewing from the cut on Scotty Bannon. And Nathan... Oh, no, it's all been called off. Wow. Oh, a huge disappointment for Scott Bannon here, Jacobs. That's the way it goes when you fight with elbows, mate. It's about fighting with knives. Jacobs, I tell you what, Scotty Bennett is still fresh. He could go another 10 rounds and it's only been stopped because they cannot stop the blood. I think that'll make another good rematch again. Very good win to uh, Nathan once again. He, ro he rose phenomenally for this occasion. Great fighter, one very to watch out for in the future. Well, there you go. Perhaps not the way that the crowd wanted it to end, but nonetheless, a victory for Nathan Corbett. Great and disappointment to Scotty, but uh, that's the way that the game goes, mate. When you fight with elbows, it's... Uh, it's like fighting with knives and on a technicality you can lose just like that. Huge disappointment. It is a technicality we will point out. Scotty Bannon is as fresh as you like. It is just that they cannot contain the bleeding from that deep cut on the forehead. Perfect executed sharp elbow. But other than that he would be fine to go on but not tonight for Scotty Bannon and Nathan Corbett and the Boon Shoe Jim go home Good win victorious. Tonight. Congratulations. Well, what a main event brought to you by TJF EBC Industrial Cranes and Scaffolding and all of our sponsors here tonight. So far, so good. Beanley Soccer, Furniture Court, Triple M, the Callum Vale Hotel, Timber Lounge Components, Siam Super Shop, Gumdale Delusions, DJ Direct, Sykes Guttering, Mega Beat and Lee Motors. and the girls from a big red machine. Please, nobody, this is a very important moment for a lot of fight fans. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the first I'd like to ask to say a few words, please, is Scott Cannon Bannon. Now, let both these fighters respect each other deeply. So, please, a few words, please, from Scott Cannon Bannon. Originally, I was supposed to fight Chris Collard. Then a Kiwi, then a guy from Melbourne, then a guy from Sydney. I didn't know much about Nathan Corbett. I heard that he challenged me for the last boot shoe. About 15 different stories. I watched the video. I know one thing, he's a gentleman. There's a lot of people around in the sport that he can teach manners to. Half, all the guys that pulled out on me had twice as many fights as Nathan Corbett, but he had twice as big a heart. The courage is all to put together. And uh, I, just, I want to say, I want to say, that, uh, that's it for me. I never want to go in a loss, and it does hurt me. But it's too hard. I'm trying to push the sport. I'm trying to run shows. Back panicking that 
There's not people so I don't lose any more money and lose my house. Now I'm just going to sit back. The young boys out there can take over. I've done my bit. I'll push as hard as I can. Now I'm going to do it from behind the thing. So, I've been there before when some of the I look up to have lost, so it does hurt your heart. For those people, I apologise that I lost. I want to hold the flag over now to guys like Nathan Corbin and Sarah Mong Kong Tom. Guys 21, 22, he's hungry. They've been off doing all the work, put them through the river one day, one day. Nathan will never have to work. He's a dad now. I'm a dad too, he's got a little boy. It's the best gift anyone can ever give in your life, Nathan. With that, you fight a chance, you go a long way. Thanks very much, thanks for the memories. A man I know feels very proud at this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, a few words. Nathan Carnage Corbett. Nathan, I won't ask you any questions. I'll just to let you have the microphone. Not again, not again. No. No, man. Well, firstly, I'd like to thank Scott Bannon because he didn't have to take his fight. Obviously, I am a heavier weight. He jumped in, didn't care. Like he said, he saved his show, got in the ring and fought for his hometown, his crowd, his support, sponsors, everything. So he is a true champion, he is a people's champion, and he deserves all the respect for his um, That's all I'd like to thank my team, Richard, my uh, card holder since John Wayne went overseas. He's just been everything to me. In the day, in the gym, morning, night, holding pads, getting the shit kicked out of him basically, but he loves it and he's done everything for me for this fight. I couldn't thank anyone else more than Richard for this one. Also, Saki, my choir master. Beautiful always. Richard, thank you, Ray, Jim, and uh, last of all, the Hurricane. Where is he? <laughs> hurricane brings, he's always, he's always somebody who I've always idled up to and if I want to be anyone in the ring, it's definitely him. I love the music kick machine. Thank you. One last thing before I'm off this one, if I am Rama. This is just Zoran. A lot of young a lot of the young guys say, oh you know, you should respect a lot of guys. I'm a firm believer, I've respected Paul Briggs my whole life. I respect Harry Norton, Ian Jacobs. I just want the young guys like Siren and I'll be playing the sign every morning. And it's, uh, as much as they say the young guys look up to the old guys, I think Siren would be a lot surprised how much I look up to him. I see myself 10 years ago, I see him train every day. And all you young guys out there, a lot of us old guys look up to you as well. It's a mutual thing. Thank you very much. I hope you push the sport to a new level. Thank you, Scott. A few words, please. We are promoted tonight, one of the four, Fat Four, Mr. Paul Demacoli. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for all attending tonight's uh, function. We'd like you all to come back to this venue on June 28th. We have a very, very big super show. It'll be Thailand versus Australia, June 28 at this venue. I'd like to thank uh, Nugget, Scott Bannon, and Scott Ward for partnering me on the show. And I'd also like to thank Team Boonchu for supporting us in a couple of quarters. 28th of June, ladies and gentlemen, be back here, bigger, better. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we promise you a Muay Thai feast with elbows. It's quite fittingly that our main event boy got stopped with a very vicious elbow. Have a good look, it looks like it's got an indenture of uh, Nathan's elbow imprinted in his forehead. It's quite nasty. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul Emacoli. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for rocking on at the arena. Don't forget the Bunshu Cup, 25th of May, just a couple of weeks ago. Nathan Tarnage Corbin, main event. I'll be there, you be there. I'm full of player. Good night, thank you. Let's rock the arena.